to the first lecture of eTabs. In this video, you will learn how and what uses this software has. Extended dimensional and three dimensional analysis of building structures. As the name suggests, the software is primarily purposed for the design and analysis of the buildings. The abilities of the software are analysis techniques using linear, nonlinear, static, and dynamic loadings, analysis and designs dedicated to the structure of buildings, as already told. International and national design codes are included in ETABs, such as Russian, Indian, Chinese, and American codes. Design of reinforced concrete, steel, and composite structures. It also helps us in behavior prediction of actual structure under the applied loads. Now we will be proceeding to this actual software. When you open ETABs, I have version 16. You will see a screen like here. This tab shows you the latest news, resources, and product releases. When you need to open a new model, you can click on this and, and open existing model or from the list you can see your existing models. Starting with the user interface of the software. Here you can see the version of the software. Furthermore, if you like to see the accurate version, you can go to help and about eTabs. You can see the exact version of eTabs from here. And it will also tell you whether the product is licensed or not. And also the remaining days of the license. It also tells you the Windows version and the applicable bit system. So that was for the version of eTabs. Now we will begin with the tools and accessibility available in this software. This is the file menu or the menu tab. Here in, you can see the new model option, open existing model, import other versions which we will be discussing later in this course, project information and other. It is also the exit option which is equivalent to the option provided here in the title bar. Now this is the toolbar. In order to access the toolbar, you need to click on new model. Here it will give you options. For time being, we will be selecting just OK and blank. This is the model explorer. It gives you detailed information about the project. Project information design preferences includes the dif different type of designs you wish for the particular structural system structural layout, stories and grids, properties, materials, frame sections, slab, wall, link properties, reinforcing bar, diaphragms, hinge and panel zones. Groups are for selection. We will also discuss this option in detail and all other options in detail in the later part of the course. Display, tables, reports, detailing. So this version of eTabs also helps you in detailing after the design. So this is the draw bar. It helps you in drawing options such as drawing line, shell, walls and all these options will be discussed in the later part. So this software designs steel structures, concrete structures, composite structures and steel connection designs as well. Okay, so starting with the interface parts, the toolbar here provides a wide range of tools such as zoom and viewing abilities. For viewing options, we can go to the view option 
and select the things we want to view and uncheck the things we don't want to view. When we will start with the modeling, we will further discuss how this actually works. Okay, for instance, you mistakenly close your model explorer. In order to open the model explorer back again, we go to options and click on show model explorer and adjust the width of the model explorer as per your convenience. Now in order to change the color of the background, sometimes for prolonged use, white color background is difficult to view. So we can change the graphic colors by going to options and display. We can select the background color to black background. Now it is easy and more comfortable for us to view and work with the model. You can see there some people have a lot of tools here while we are having very limited tools here. In order to add every tool in eTypes in this menu bar or toolbar, you have to go to options. Customize toolbars. Here you can select assign join and this option becomes visible. Assign frame, assign shell, edit, view, define. Okay. So now I'll be opening a model which I already prepared for further discovering options in eTabs. So it is a three dimensional model we have already prepared using eDabs. Now in order to access the different parts of the model, this is the 3D view and this is the elevation view. We can close this window as well if we need a larger view of the elevation. We can also view plan and 3D view back again in this window. For example, I clicked on plan, I need to go to story 3. So now story 3 is in my view. Now I have to go to 3D view, I simply click on 3D. In order to back the window again which I closed, you can click here new window and it opens up a new window here. Now similarly you can open the plan or elevation in here. I can rotate the 3D view selecting the rotate option or just by pressing the shift key on your keyboard and the mouse wheel. Now let's check the section IDs and adjust their fonts. Click on view options. I would like to see what column sections are assigned here. So I go to object assignments and then frame assignments and sections and click on apply. Now it shows me see a concrete column here section is assigned. You can also change the text size. Furthermore, upon zooming, I see the section as concrete column. You can change the text size from options and graphic preferences. Here the font size shown is 6 maximum. Let's make this as 10 and the minimum font size as 8. So now you see the font size is larger. Sometimes we need to see this face and this face all together. 
so we need the option of developed elevation draw developed elevation definition will show you let's call this as grid 1 D I'll be drawing the developed elevation for this range of elevations and right click so it opens up the developed elevation in order to see once again in the plan I draw the developed elevation for this phase and this phase so if I select this column it selected this column which is in between the phase of the elevation 1 and elevation D so this was the developed elevation option that is it with the lecture 1 of ETAPS reinforced concrete course